Hello friends, we're throwing a stone today. Very simple, of course, but very basic and not trivial at all. So where do I find it? And what happens when I throw a stone? Well, let's create a surface where everything takes place. We extend the width and the height to quite a bit. A right mouse button, assign a new material, Arnold standard surface shader and we click here on a grid and in order to see the grid we need to click here and the, the color is a little bit better like this so we don't need the, the original grid anymore because we have a huge grid now okay so um, next we want to create a ball or a stone and let's right mouse click this icon here under polygon modeling you find the soccer ball and the soccer, soccer ball lands in the center of the scene here that's what it looks like we want to have it a little bit bigger and here we have the radius like this and we give it another color assign a new material Arnold standard surface and this is gonna be well a nice bright yellow now let's move the ball to, le to the left imagine you're standing here and you have this ball in your hand and you throw it up into the air and you wait until it lands and you check out how it bounces off the floor etc well there are two dynamic systems in Maya the new system is n cloth n hair n constraint the n system it creates a nucleus here in the outliner uh, that's not necessary in this case we go with the system which is called rigid body dynamics there's nothing soft in this scene and it will or won't be soft the ball is rigid and the floor is rigid and that's all we need so we go to a field which has been in Maya since the very beginning and its performance is so excellent that it's uh, excellent for computer games so go to fields and solvers you find it under the FX setting menu setting here menu uh, whatever uh, fields and solvers and we assign gravity to the selected object meaning um, the ball feels gravity and falls down of course it doesn't feel the floor so we need to make this floor very simple really field solvers an active rigid body if we make it a um, sorry a passive rigid body if we make it an active rigid body let's do this and undo it later this will happen it's a very interesting simulation because the ball actually um, touches the the ground uh, the ground floor doesn't have the gravity because we haven't assigned the gravity field to the, to the ground floor so the ball just touches it and pushes it away let's see this again so the floor stays stable until the ball hits okay let's press Z a couple of times in order to undo this so we undo create active rigid body uh, we have this selected we create a passive rigid body the uh, behavior is totally different now the ball just bounces off let's extend the simulation range to 1000 frames so we can enjoy a little bit more of the simulation let's raise the ball higher make it maybe a little bit bigger like this and now the simulation goes like this not very interesting we want to throw the soccer ball up into the air and into this direction and when we when we check the translation arrows here the the red one is X you see the, the little icon here we want to throw it in X direction and in Y direction okay so let's pick the solid which we picked already and here in the attribute editor we have the rigid body the rigid body now has <clears throat> several parameters active or not active if you uncheck active it will be just doing nothing here in the scene it has a certain weight and friction and dynamic fric friction bound bounciness etc 
we see a section here called impulse. The impulse up and, and to the right and up and to the to the left. So um, is this what we want? Well, let's try it out. The impulse in Y is the impulse of the ball up in the up direction. What does the ball do now? It has gravity and it has an impulse of 1. So it will go up and up and up and it will never return because the impulse is stronger than gravity so it behaves like a rocket and that's not what we want. So let's reduce this to zero again. Now the ball stays where it is. We want to throw it up. Gravity wants to pull it down. That's what the initial settings section is good for. Open it and here you have initial spin. Let's start with the initial spin. Let's give it a spin of 100 and Y. Let's see how this changes the behavior of the ball. You see it rotates now around the Y axis. We can do the same here with maybe 80 and here with 200. So we have quite some rotation happening here when the simulation begins. Um, this is typical for when you actually throw a stone or a ball into the air. You give it a spin. You, it's very hard to throw a ball into the air without giving it an initial spin. And that's the initial settings here. So we have a spin now. And now all we need to do is give it an initial velocity up, say, 10. And to the right, which is x here, say, 5 and see what's happen happening now. That's what's happening. It's uh, moving up and to the right. But probably not enough. So let's throw it up into the air much higher, like 20. Oh, sorry, that was 20 to the right. Up to maybe 30. That's very interesting. And then it falls down, of course. So let's reduce the 20 now to... You need to play with the parameters because it's not a keyframe thing. You have to work with the simulation here. Throw it high up into the air and watch it bounce when it comes down. You see, it changes the rotation because this is just the initial spin. It has a totally different spin now. Well, and finally, this is basically all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Check out the bounciness and damping. The bounciness currently is set, that's the pre-default, to 0 0.6. Let's make it bounce much more. Up in the air and slightly to the right. It comes down and now it bounces quite a bit more than before. And of course you can animate this, play with the parameters while the simulation is running. That's all fine, so it's medium bouncy now. And finally the damping. Uh, other parameters here, here, like static friction, very interesting too. But let's, uh, let me show you the damping. Um, when uh, the damping is currently set to zero, it's like the air damping. The, the air which makes things very lame, very sm very, very, um, well, you see what, <laughs> this is what the damping does. It's thick air now. So let's reduce the damping to zero again. So everything is back to normal and have a nice day.